Hey viewers, I'm going to show you how to do an oil change on this Tundra. This Tundra's got the 5.7 V8 iForce motor. Lexus also has this same motor in various uh, vehicles that they make. First thing you're going to want to do is uh, open up the hood. As you may notice, uh, I'm missing that top intake manifold cover. It says Toyota and type of motor it is and all that. But uh, first thing you want to do is undo your oil cap. You want to go to underneath here. And as you look up, this right here is your oil filter cartridge. And as you go further back, this right here is your drain bolt that you would remove. Alright, so these are the things you're going to need to uh, complete this oil change. So you're going to want probably a tarp. Definitely going to want uh, an oil catch container. You're going to want a funnel. You're going to need uh, this oil filter cartridge socket, flathead screwdriver, half inch drive extension, 14 millimeter wrench, your half inch drive ratchet for that extension for that filter here. Of course you're going to have to go to the local parts store and uh, pick up some uh, synthetic oil. Uh, this truck takes uh, it takes a 020 there so I just got some Castro Ledge full synthetic 020. Um, this motor also takes seven and a half liters uh, just to keep in mind so you have to get you end up saving a bit of money if you get 10 liters two five liter jugs and then I just got the, an extra guard from Fram, which uh, will do the job just fine. And the part number for that one there is uh, CH10295. Let's get started. Alright, so now that we're underneath the motor, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to slide this oil catch pan underneath the drain bolt. You're going to grab your 14 millimeter wrench. Just loosen it off slowly.
a motor with this much oil, usually I let it drain for about 10 minutes. All right, now pretty much the motor is fully drained. It's oil. So it's going to take a rag. Just give it a little wipe. You can go ahead and put that bolt back in. Here we go. Doesn't have to be too tight. Give it another little wipe. Now we can move on to the oil filter cartridge. All right, so now that you're looking at the oil filter cartridge, you're gonna to wanna to take your oil filter socket, or your cartridge socket, I should say. You can get this at a local hardware store, automotive parts store, and it only costs about $10. It takes a half inch drive extension on it and a half inch drive ratchet. And always remember counterclockwise is to loosen things off in most cases, and clockwise just to tighten them back down. As you feel it start to get loose, you want to proceed to take it off with a bit of caution. You might get a little bit of oil. So it's important to have your oil catch tray right below. As you can see, it's starting to drip. And what I tend to do is I tend to let this drain also for about 10 minutes. Just makes it easier to handle. So now that you've fully unwound the oil filter cartridge, this is what it looks like. Drain it out. Take out the filter. And this is what the cartridge looks like inside. All right, so now we're ready to install the new filter, new O-ring on your cartridge. So you take your cartridge, give a little wipe, there's a large o-ring here that comes with the brand new filter once you buy it. I just tend to reuse the old one, but I inspect it first, look for cracks, little dings out of it, make sure it's oiled, not dry. I grab the new o-ring, the new little o-ring from the oil filter kit, slide it over top of the perforated tube all the way down. 
just like that. And then I slide my new filter, just like that. This little perforated tube is uh, spring loaded. So that's totally normal to get that feeling. Filter number for this motor is a, a Fram CH10295. Once you can't do it by hand anymore, you grab your half inch drive extension and your half inch drive ratchet. And you're going to want to go clockwise. And you don't want to over tighten this either. Just give it a good, a good snug. All right, so now that you're back on top of the motor, you're going to want to put some new oil in. It's very handy to have a funnel. there but not a big deal all right so now that you've put enough oil into the motor this motor again just a reminder takes seven and a half liters Put your oil cap back on, not too tight on this as well, and then just grab a rag and wipe any excess oil that you may have spilled like myself a little bit here. After you've done that, all you're going to want to do is uh, Start the motor up like normal, let it run and idle for about 30 seconds. And that's how you complete an oil change on a Toyota Lexus 5.7 liter iForce V8 motor. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like below and subscribe if you want to see more.